It has been a long time, but today we are doing Jamaican food and we did a little bit of a throwback. So I'm excited to do this. Jerked Kitchen is located in Hackensack, New Jersey. And it is one of the first restaurants that I reviewed when I started doing reviews on YouTube. Now, I have had a lot more Jamaican food since then restaurant wise. And I have said this a bunch of times, but believe it or not, I grew up eating food like this. So I consider myself not a connoisseur, but you know, I've had enough of it to know what's good and what's not. Since I've done this restaurant, I've done a few Jamaican restaurants and I haven't liked it at all. So I hope it is as good as I remember. I remember this being good way back when. It's been a couple of years. It's a small place. They do make everything from scratch. It's like served lunch style. So you can go and get a lot of food quick unless you order certain things, which then they will make to order. The last place I went to, they made to order and the oxtail was trash. So I had to try the oxtail today. It's hella expensive. I know y'all gonna scoff at this price. <laughs> Let's get into this video. So this is an order of the oxtail. I just did the jasmine rice. I got rice and peas on my other dishes. And then I got the uh, the collard greens as well. Um, the oxtail, I don't even want to tell y'all. Okay, look, it cost $30, all right? $29 for the oxtail, okay? Everybody that knows anything about oxtail right now, it has been gentrified to hell. It is expensive as hell. It was never this expensive, but it's at an all time high. $29 cost for this plate, which when I checked their website, most favorite orders is no longer up there clearly why but i got it last time so i was gonna get it again i'm gonna dig right into this it does look good though look i'm gonna get get y'all real quick look it does look good like don't sit here and tell me that this don't look good okay got a lot of gravy in here which is gonna be good so i can get into this rice but the first thing that i'm gonna do is just grab me a fat chunk of this oxtail soaked in the gravy and pray that it's good because nothing's worse than wasting thirty dollars on some food It is a lot better than the last damn place. I'll tell you that much. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. The gravy, it's nice and thick. And it is flavorful. I like them. I definitely like them. But, you know, let's break this down. Let me get a little bit of this gravy with the rice. Ooh, let me get the rice. Let me get the rice. There we go. I like the gravy. Mm. They do a nice gravy. My only issue, being real, I like my oxtails a little more tender than this. Now I'm not sitting here saying that it's not tender, okay? They are tender. You see, I'm biting it right off there. But for me, when I really got it going in oxtail, we can just yank this right off and it's like fall off the bone tender. Again, that's a personal preference. That's how I like my oxtail. But I have a bag over here for the bones. I always say that because I know people probably think, is he dumping that food? No. Let me get that in. Here. The jasmine rice is just jasmine rice, but it's meant to be eaten with this gravy. I'm, I'm really glad to give you a ton of gravy. A lot of places don't. They be kind of stingy with it. And... Bones are, you're going to get bones in these. They're not. Let's try these greens real quick. This is not just collard greens for sure. They're a mix. There's definitely kale and like maybe something else in here. A little bit bitter. Well, that's what they were going for. There's also, looks like there's some peppers in here or something. That bitterness will put a lot of people off. I don't mind the bitterness, but I like it. Kind of contrasting with the savoriness of the gravy when you get it going together with the rice and the collards. This is pretty good. It's definitely better than a lot of the Jamaican food I've had recently. Um, I wouldn't sit here and say it's my favorite, but I do like it and I would eat it again. But for $29, I just don't think oxtail is really worth what it is anymore. It's now become this food I feel like everybody just wants to try. And I do like it. But ain't nothing worth $30 like this when you can get a damn steak for that price. But I'll eat, I would eat this. Again, price notwithstanding. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I went way out on a limb for this one. There's a big sign outside that had this. There's also, when I went on their website beforehand, they have their top most ordered items because they use like storefront by DoorDash. This was number two. Never in my life have had anything like this. Normally I get beef patties, but this was their number two. So this is a vegan patty. It's no beef. It's, it's vegan. I like beef patties, 
this is definitely different for me. Damn, it's gonna make crumbs. Beef patties are usually really, really flaky. So I don't know what to expect. I'm just gonna dig in and see. There's a nice spice level to this, similar to you would get in a beef patty. So the spice level is on point. The shell on this, I've had some stale ass beef patties recently, so maybe I'm a little biased. It's very good. It's not flaking apart all over the place. Still nice and tender on the inside. This filling has definitely got a mushroom vibe to it. I don't know what else is in here. So anybody who doesn't like mushrooms, you probably shouldn't be a vegan if you don't like mushrooms. I feel like a lot of stuff is made with it, but that's what the inside looks like. So obviously it's not gonna look like beef and it doesn't taste like beef. It definitely tastes like, like I'm getting into consistency when I'm looking at like lentil, mushroom. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't see a description for it. But I bet, man, I should just got a damn beef patty, I'm gonna be honest with you, because I like everything else. The filling to me, again, because I'm not vegan, is okay, but I know beef would just be crazy with this. But I just, I'm, I swear to God, bro, I'm almost potentially like, I think they close soon, so I ain't gonna do this to them. I really was legit thinking about just walking back in there like, I need to be patty real quick, but I don't dislike this. And that, to me, I'm not a vegan. I don't eat vegan food. It was a really good sign. Definitely just got a lentil there. It's not bad. It's vegan, but it's pretty damn good. I would eat this. I'm saying a lot. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Now I'm grading this as if I'm a damn vegan. Okay, but I think a beef patty would probably be like a nine. Like it's flavorful, man. Really nicely done. I don't really, you know, I'm not a vegan, bro. Well, I tear this up. Now, this is their number one ordered thing. You would think at a restaurant called Jerks that the jerk chicken would be number one. It's not even top five. It's their curry chicken. Now I'm a fan of curry chicken. A lot of people don't know about curry chicken. West Indian Jamaican curry is different than like Indian curry per se, but same kind of idea. A lot of people make different kinds of curries. Curry is just a spice blend of sorts, so there's no one uniform thing for curry, believe it or not. Now, I got it with my sides that I just, this is my this is my thing. This is probably gonna hit the most. The rice and peas, and I love the cabbage, bro. I always get the cabbage. The cabbage is my thing. I just wanted to try different stuff with the oxtail, so I'm dropping $30 on it. The chicken, no bones. Got the potatoes, though. They look like they use like little breast pieces of chicken or maybe even thigh, but there's no bones. I have seen it made this way. A lot of people use the one with the bones though, because I think bones have better flavor, but I know I'm yapping. I'll be trying to tell y'all what's going on here. I can see why this is number one. The curry is a mild curry. I've had curries, depending on where you go, now we're in Hackensack, which is like, there's there's some Jamaican stuff here, but not like for real. And the hospital is like across the street, so I can definitely, nah, West Indian needs to be working at the hospital too. I personally would turn up the spice on this a little bit, but I can understand why they don't. Maybe if you ask for it, they need a different kind, but they made it like the textbook way with the potatoes, the chicken, the curry powder, the blend. The potatoes kind of thicken it up a little bit. It's not fancy. Just season that up and you let it cook for a long time. Using the boneless chicken allows you to cook it faster. Because if you cook it bone in, it does take much longer. But this I would this is what I would come and get. I think this was like like a 15 on the higher side, but these days food man, food prices is just crazy. But let me try this rice and peas by itself. Give me one more. That's not bad. It's not bad. A little bit of flavor to it. They mashed up some of the beans to make the rice a little bit thicker. But the rice is cooked well. It's not bland. They seasoned it up. Let me try the cabbage. Cabbage, usually they just steam it. Some places will season up a little bit or cook it in a broth. Usually a vegetable broth. A lot of places just be steaming this. I hope it's the first one and not the non just the steam, but... No, I'm... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like a vegetable broth in that one too. Nothing fancy. But you mix it in. You get a little crunch in there. 
the chicken is tender, falls apart. I like that. I would smash this. This is, this is the one for me. I can definitely see why it's the number one order. Because you can see, I feel like I'm just sitting in the car having a meal right now. And just hitting. Hold on. Let me get this last bite. This one looked too seasoned not to eat. Let me let it marinate. Excuse me, I'm sorry. All right, slow down. This one is the meal. Like, I'm going to save this one. Mm. I'm, this is rocking. Yeah. My only real gripe, again, I prefer bone in. And I wish it was a little spicier. But, like, say I was over here, I want me a quick little plate. This will be the one I get. This whole meal right here. I just wish it was. I said it already. I keep saying the same thing because now I'm just getting into my mode. But I still like it. This gets an 8 out of 10. I like this one. I wasn't going to go to jerk to not get anything that wasn't jerk something. So I saw the chicken in there. And again, I said this when I do Jamaican food. Sometimes some people like their jerk chicken on the drier side. I, I don't. Like, that's just the way it is. So I took a gamble and I got these jerk wings. Now, this is like a $17 plate. I'm not sure how many wings is in here because I didn't pick them up yet. Comes with two sides. So I got the rice and peas again. And then I got sweet potato. And I also took another shot in the dark and got their mac and cheese. Now, again, I've eaten a lot of Jamaican food in my life. I've eaten at Jamaican people's houses, Jamaican restaurants, you name it. A lot of Jamaicans do a mac and cheese that's more like a pie. Not my not my vibe. So I said, you know what? Like, we're going to try it anyway. And I'm very pleasantly surprised to see that, that this like looks like my kind of mac and cheese. So I'm a little excited for that one. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get into one of these wings. I love the jerk sauce on this. She asked me if I wanted the jerk sauce on it. I said, oh, yeah. And I like the fact that these is cooked up real nice. Mm. They smell barbecue, too, like on the, on the fire. Hold on. Rocking. That's the best thing I had here. Even the spice is on point. Yes, sir. Yeah. Cooked perfectly. Finished on a grill or something. I'm getting a, like a sm not smoke taste, but something like that. Like it's fired, which I don't think they got a fire pit back there, which is how jerk usually made, but they managed to capture it. The spice on this is a good spice. It's not like the, some of my Jamaican friends growing up used to eat food that was like, you'd be sweating after one bite spicy. I have a good spice tolerance, but not that high. This is not suburban spicy. This is this is what it's supposed to be. I'll give it about a seven on the spice scale, so it's hot enough where I feel like I'm eating jerk. Cool. Again, these are cooked real nice. The flavor is on point. She asked if I wanted the sauce on them, and she didn't go crazy with the sauce. A little bit. It's what you need. Jerk rub is very strong, and it's good. I still use it sometimes, and I, I, I have jerk rub that I put on my chicken breast sometimes, and I eat for my meal prep. But these is on point. That's it. Now it looked like some of that sauce went down into this rice. So hold on now. That shit did. Oh yeah. Hold up, let. I take that back. This is the plate I get. Seventeen dollars. Wow. Think you get? How many wings I eat? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's crazy, man. Damn. That's crazy. But this is good. I could have made these. Mm -hmm. The hell I just say? Those just rocking. Like, you're going to have to pay though. They tax it. I'm not going to lie. But, ask for the jerk sauce. Ask them to put it on the rice. Because I got it on this rice and peas. That combo was hitting. I wonder if they sell this as just a side order or something like that. Maybe I get it on the side or something. I also got some sweet potatoes. They don't look too promising, but let's try Not for me. Again, I just grew up eating different kinds of sweet potatoes, but I expected this. It's not like the overly sweet ones. They kind of just let the sweet potato talk to it by itself. It's okay, but I definitely would prefer something else. And then we have the mac and cheese. This looks like it's pretty good. Look at that. Nice and cheesy. That's pretty good. 
got some shark cheddar like a cheese blend in here similar to the one not believe it or not that we use at home it's nice and creamy you know i'm a harsh mac and cheese critic i like this this was like five dollars but it's a pretty decent size and again they didn't mess around on the cheese the jerk wings is the best thing i had today i really like those i'll give those a nine out of ten like i really like those sweet potatoes is the only thing that's different on this plate i probably give it a five like it's not for me but the mac and cheese it's very rare you see me grating any mac and cheese that's like anything but this was pretty damn good no joke i'll give this an 8.8 .8 out of 10 it's way up there for me i'm soup i'm gonna put it this way if you're new to the channel i have thrown mac and cheese in my videos it's the one thing that i'm like it's one of my favorite foods and like i'm very specific with what i'm looking for i understand that it's my taste buds but what i'm looking for the mac and cheese i threw was literally like crap and they, they pay me like six dollars for i ain't gonna lie but this is what i'm looking for this is good this is this is really that's that's rocking the jerk wings though i gotta get one more of these fire again i said this one of the first videos i did in this channel was this place and i haven't been back since it looks a little bit different i think they changed it there's a painting in there that wasn't there before and they added some tvs and stuff so it looks like they're doing okay when i was in there there's about three or four people it's a small place so that's good you know what i'm saying especially in new jersey like mom and pops that's pretty when you see three four people walking in and out that means people go there this is a pretty good place and i think it's got some good stuff on the menu and if you've never tried west indian food you don't got to go to the hood to get it some of y'all probably don't want to go to like patterson or something i've done some patterson restaurants i understand that if you're from jersey some of y'all may not want to go i understand that this is in Hackensack, right by the hospital. And it's authentic. It's not BS. So I think it's good some of the stuff I got. My, depending on your taste level, if you like milder food, I would get the curry chicken with the rice and peas and the cabbage. And if you like spicier, get the jerk wings with the rice and peas and the mac. Two different types of people here, but I'm trying to cater to everybody. But the food here was good. I'm glad to do it. I want to start doing more mom and pops, like I said. So we're going to try to do two or three a week. And this was a place that was on my list to return to for a while now i'm glad i got back as we start to branch out a little bit i love y'all y'all be safe and we'll be back tomorrow more content man the hand signs they made it to youtube